if I want to change any relationship, it's not in the way I'm talking to them, in the way I'm behaving with them. It's in about what I am thinking for them. Words are few. Words are only when we are in their presence. Thoughts are in thousands and thoughts are even when they are miles and miles away. Have you ever experienced that for a few days you have been contemplating something about another person? Why are they doing this? Why are they like this? They should not be doing this. And after many, many days you say, today I'm going to talk to them about it. But I will take care that I will talk properly. We prepare ourselves very nicely. I'm going to be very soft, full of love and respect. I will say it perfectly. And we also write our script, what we are going to say to them. And with absolute dignity and grace, we go and say it to them in a very, very nice, perfect manner in one line. But when we say that one line, Lines and lines and lines of turbulent energy come from the opposite direction. Anyone experience that? Yes? And you will look at them and you will say, Maine bola kya aapko? Ye kyu itna, 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 itna suna rahe hai mirko? What have I said to you? Ever experienced? Yes? Because they are not replying to that one perfect line. They are replying to, they are replying to, they are replying to those thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of heavy thoughts which we have been sending to them since days, months or even years. It is after many, many years that all of you here have created technology which says, type one message, and there it is, the next second on the other person's phone. But even before your message reaches the other person's phone, your thought has already reached them. Now take care. Every thought you create is reaching them, just exactly like every message you type reaches them. Bachpan se sikhaya tha, dhyan se bolo, speak carefully. Spirituality says, dhyan se socho, think carefully. Spirituality says, soch kar bolo. And then one step deeper, soch kar socho ke ye baat sochne layak hai ki nahi hai. Think even before you think. Because once you've created the thought, karma is created, destiny is decided. Sundar bolna nahi hai sirf, saaf sochna hai, pure thoughts, not perfect words. And when your thoughts are pure, you will not need to take care of the, you will not need to take care of speaking the right words. Because if it's clean here, it's going to be clean here. Like some people, they keep their house very clean, but everything is stuffed inside the cupboard. And the cupboard is closed. So they say, nobody can see anything. My house is very clean, clean, clean. If someone just goes and touches that cupboard also, everything stored since years will spill out. This is that cupboard. We are holding on to a lot of things. If someone says one word which opens this cupboard, everything of yours will come out. It will start right from the day we met for the first time. It will start from right the day of the wedding. We are holding things since that day which we will tell them after 30 years. They will be shocked by what we say. More than them, even we are shocked by what we are speaking at that time. And then we say to them, I didn't mean to say this. Don't believe them. Nobody can say anything which has not been here on their mind for very, very, very long. So be very careful. So karma is in what I 
karma is in what i bolo in what i think now my every thought my every word my every behavior going out like this let's look at it like a ball in my hand so now hold your karma in your hand what power do we have which ball to throw and how to throw it once the ball is out of my hand once the ball is out of my hand i can do nothing to it now i release the ball from here it goes and hits that wall there and it comes back to me that ball going out is my karma the ball coming back is my destiny now the balls coming back to you in your life are people's behavior to you situations in your life body doing a lot of strange things sometimes suddenly now when these balls come back to us we say why is this happening to me so now we know the answer why is this ball coming to me why is this ball coming to me because i have thrown it sometime somewhere i don't remember when but nothing can come this way unless it has gone this way nothing can come sometimes we say oh they are so lucky oh this one is so unlucky there is no such word no one is getting anything extra and no one is getting anything lesser than what they have thrown out it's just that we are seeing what they are getting back we are not knowing what they have thrown earlier now if i throw out a white ball the white ball comes back to me if i throw out a red ball the red one comes back to me if i throw out an even darker color ball the darker color balls come back to me but when the darker color balls come back to me and that's not what i want in my destiny i start getting disturbed creating pain creating anxiety creating fear and when i do that the new balls also which i send out are of the darker color sister is going to get up here stand here in front of 2000 people and say something very very nasty to me ball coming to me from here what choice do i have at that time what choice do i have at that time this is the ball coming from here to me what choice do i have at that time options options ignore ignore ha huh? she is going to stand here in front of everyone and say something very very nasty to me she insulting me publicly options send her a white ball han ji so example of how to send her a white ball that time hmm smile at her i can smile at people and send very nice balls from there <laughs> what is going to be my present karma first first right karma why is she doing this to me question doesn't arise don't waste your energy in questioning your destiny 
which means we are questioning the balls which are coming from here. Don't even waste one thought in why is she doing this to me? Answer is she is just sending me back what I had sent. I don't remember when I had sent, but I had sent that is coming to me. Keep all your energy for the present situation. Don't waste about thinking about the past. Second, my present karma has to be a white color energy. Sometimes somewhere I had sent a dark color energy which is returning today. If I want to change my present and my future, my present karma will be a white color energy, which means my present karma is not dependent on how people are behaving with me. Today, what are we doing? We are nice to those who are nice to us. We are very nice to those who are very nice to us. We are very, very nice to those who are very, very nice to us. And we are So what are we doing? We are only reciprocating what they are sending to us. And when we do that, we are repeating the same pattern of a wrong karma and a wrong destiny in our life. Many people will say, same thing is happening to me again and again. Same pattern is repeating in my life. So and so rejected me, then so and so rejected me, then my parents rejected me, then my friends rejected me, today my spouse is also rejecting me. Me, bichara, victim, everybody rejects me. Rejection cannot come from them to me unless I radiate this thought to them Everyone is rejecting me. Nobody loves me. Nobody respects me. Nobody values me. That's the energy which comes back. So if repeated patterns are happening in my life, which means I'm thinking the same thoughts which I used to think before, nothing changed. So now, she's not been nice to me, and you are advising me that I should be nice to her. Is that what you're telling me to do? Yes? How many of you are giving me this advice that I should be nice to those who are not being nice to me? And I should be nice to her in the way I think about her? Yes? Yes? Good. So I should not feel bad what she's doing to me? No? Thank you. And I should not hold any resentment for her? No. And ye jo usne aaj bola, wo to mujhe yaad hi nahi rehna chahiye. Yes? 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 Thank you so much. I don't have to do anything. You are telling me everything what to do. Life is so simple. Life is so simple. Don't be with people the way they are being with you, which you are not liking. That is the moment to change your destiny. Everything is predestined, right? Right? Don't we say everything is predestined? Which means her behavior towards me was predestined. Predestined by? Predestined by? Predestined means a previously written destiny. Written by? Written by me. So what she is doing to me is my past which is coming back to me. What I will do now will be my present. And what I do now, I'm writing my destiny of tomorrow. So past, present, future, all three working together every time. Tino kal, trikal. Teen kal, three aspects of time. Past, present, future. Every moment, past is coming to you. Past means a ball which I had sent earlier is coming to me. So my past is coming to me. What I do now is my new ball, present. And the new ball which I send out today is going to come back to me tomorrow. So today I'm writing the destiny of tomorrow. Past, not in my 
past not in my control so i'm not even going to think about her why is she doing this to me i'm not going to sit and think she could have just said it a little better she could have said the same thing a little politely and most important she could have taken me in that little corner on the side and she could have said it to me softly was there any need to say it in front of two so i'm writing the script of how she should have been and while doing that i've sent 100 more black balls to her so the black energy is going there it's coming back it's going there it's coming back my destiny is getting more and more complex so today you are giving me that advice and if i follow your advice and i just look at her with compassion and i say to her in my mind i'm sorry for what i must have done in the past to you because of which you are doing this to me today so i internally will apologize to people who are being wrong to me today theek hai but what are we doing today apologize why did you do this to me no nobody can do anything wrong to me unless i've sent that energy to them before now when i look at her she could be my family she could be a very close friend and i say i've always been nice to her in fact i've done so much for her where she is today is because of me I got her this job. I got her from India to the USA. I put her in this business. I did everything for her. Today she has cheated me. So when I look at my karmic account, I say I've done everything perfect for her. There's no way I sent a single black ball to her. Does that happen? Does that happen? Let's look at parent and child. A child has always got the perfect energy from the parent a parent cannot create a single wrong thought for a child and yet 20 years later a child can do something which is not right for the parent and then what's the parent going to say i've always done so much so much so much so much so much for them and is this what they do with me in return so law of karma gets a question mark now be very careful when i send her this energy from here which means when i send a ball from here and it goes and hits that wall when it comes back could be 1 minute later could be an hour later now please look and you have to give me the answer i sent this ball from here it's hitting that wall it's on its way back after an hour but within that hour something happens to me right here on this chair and i leave this body and i leave this body and i take another body so i die and i'm born again will that ball come back to me will that ball come back to me पक्का शुड इट कम बैक टू मी या उधर का उधर हो जाना चाहिए था पूरा शुड इट कम बैक टू मी यस इट्स लाइक आई डोंट स्पीक नाइसली टू हर टुडे एंड टुमोरो व्हेन वी मीट शी इज चेंज्ड हर ड्रेस एंड आई हैव चेंज्ड माय ड्रेस शुड आई गेट द एनर्जी ऑन द रिटर्न एंड देन आई से टू हर forget na kal kya hua your dress was different my dress was different why are we talking about it today so what is she going to say it's nothing to do with my dress you were not talking to my dress you were talking to you were talking to me who's that me that we were talking to it's the me it's not this body the dress which we see so we've sent out a lot of energies sometime in another costume 
And once we sent them out, before they came back, we changed the costume. And today when we meet them, their costumes are changed, our costumes are changed, the relationship has changed. And when we look at only the present and we say, we've been perfect with them, then why are they having a problem with me? The people having a problem with you could be the ones working with you in your office and say, isko kya problem hai ya mere se? Bolte hai ki nahin bolte hai? Usko wohi problem hai, jo isko mere se problem hai. I have had a karmic account of the past with them. So our exchange of energy is not dependent on our physical costume. I create the thought, send it to the other soul. Time passes, we change costumes, and when we meet again, we won't even know the reason, but there are some people whom we get along without any reason, and there are some people with whom we are having problems without any reason. Hota hai ki nahi hota aisa? Hota hai ki nahi hota? Because we've all met before. We do not need to go and get a past life regression done to find out what did we do together before. We don't need to do it. We only need to have the knowledge, yes, we've met before, yes, we did something which was a little not right, and more important, we have the power today to change it completely. So now, if I should be nice to her after she's insulted me publicly, anybody on your mind whom you have to throw a white ball at? Anyone on your mind whom you have to throw a white ball at? Yes? 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 Nay? Yes? Can we send blessings to those who are being very, very wrong to us? Can we send them blessings? Can we send them blessings? Should we send them blessings? For whose benefit? Ah, very good. This has to be very clear. We are not doing any, we are not doing any favor to them. We are not doing it for them. My white energy writes my destiny, not their destiny. Their energy will write their destiny. So forgiveness becomes Forgiveness becomes, forgiveness becomes simple way of living. Because I am releasing what she has done just so that I have a clean mind and intellect, so that my every karma is accurate and so that my destiny is clean and beautiful for my present and for my future. One instant we are living in times of uncertainty. One second and I, the soul, will leave this body. And what will I carry with me? What will I carry with me? Only two things, my sanskars and my karma. So your closing balance sheet on 31st December is the same opening balance sheet on 1st January. My last minute in this costume will be my 31st December. The next minute when I enter the womb of the mother with a destiny is my 1st January. The child is born and you get a Janampatri in your hand. This is the destiny of this child. That is your opening balance sheet for the next year business. How was that created? Based on? Based on? based on the way I did business in this lifetime. Profit, loss, credit, debit, everything carry forward. They are no more with me. We leave everything we've earned behind. We leave our property behind. We leave our people behind. We leave our body behind. There's only one thing we carry, our karmas and our sanskars. So what should we focus on on our lifetime? Where should the focus be?
take care. There's nothing we need to fear in this life, but only fear doing any wrong karma. Because when it comes back to us, we don't want to say, why is this happening to me? So ready to forgive? Ready to forgive? Paka? Paka? Ready to forget? I can forgive, but to forget is little difficult. <laughs> the minute I say that to myself, I'm writing my destiny. And today I'll say to myself, I forgive and I'm 100% certain I will forget because I have understood that I cannot keep this on my mind and write pain for myself again and again and again. And every morning, when you sit in meditation, create one thought, past is over, my past karmic account is over, never ever to come again. What they did, what is the size of the mistake they made has nothing to do with whether I can forgive or not forgive. People who cannot forgive are not even able to forgive those who forgot to ask them for a glass of water. We cannot even forgive people who did not like my post on social media. And that's the time I take a decision, tomorrow I am also not going to like her photo. So karmas are playing a lot with all that you have created in Silicon Valley. You have no idea how much karmas are working nowadays. People are changing their destinies right there. She did not like my photo. I like a photo every day what she posts. She didn't like my photo. Tomorrow I'm also not going to like her picture. That's there. So we get into this pattern of doing a tit for tat. Eent ka jawab patthar se dena Bachpan se seekh liya. Abhi kya karenge int ka jawab? Int ka jawab kis se dena hai? Int ka jawab? Int ka jawab? Flower se dena hai? Kyunki mujhe return mein pathar nahi chahiye. So don't look at what they are doing. Don't look at how many times they have been doing that. Don't look at their karma. Their karma writes their destiny. We are living in times of uncertainty. A lot of unpredictable karmas will come before you. Very close people will do something you had never ever thought of. It can happen. Take care. Protect yourself. Don't respond with that same quality of karma back to them. Protect yourself. And when you do that, you're also protecting them.